Welcome to Travelling Out. Today I am exploring Canal Tour in Copenhagen location and my pickup location is here where we stand exactly in front of the, the Queen Palace. So I take from boat here and around one hour they can provide me tour for the Canal Tour and the Canal Tour price is around 199 Danish Krona. I booked the Canal Tour in the special website. I already make a video how to book Canal Tour for the single person, multiple person or different different varieties. You can visit on the video description and see that. So we will see at Canal Tour. Let's check it out. See the information here. You can scan this barcode and take all information. Here is the office, and you can take the boat from here. This is the boat I travel. Canal tour. Forty-eight krona. Journey is the start. I try, I think okay. No da bihar potence. Er no da bihar, yeah. No expense. <laughs> okay. Trust uh, gangers. Um, yeah. Yeah, we have three requests. Please don't throw waste in the water, please don't smoke, and when we are sailing under a bridge, uh, just remain seated. Yeah, uh, bitte kein Müll ins Wasser werfen, die Müll haben, Müllander sind hier in der Mitte, nicht rauchen, und wenn wir unter einer Brücke sind, äh, einfach gut zu bleiben. Yeah, this, uh, on the right side, you see our parliament, um, the building is from 1970 and the parliament opened in 1860. So here's the first bridge. This is an easy one. Mind your head. After broken. Yeah. Oh, hey. The shaking bridge. Now, uh, the long building here is the old stock exchange from 1640. It was actually more like a marketplace. You can see some dragons on the roof. Uh, this was made to protect the building from fire. Yeah, here is the Börse from 1640 in the Holländischen Renaissance deal about the dragon of the dust for So it turns out that it worked. The building has never catch fire in the time of the Yeah, the Spoiler is not a big plan. It's not a big plan. So now this bridge is a bit more difficult. Mind your head. Stock exchange old. Wow. Yeah, it's also the state and other uh, institutions. Yeah. Okay. Don't get to the women. Yeah, on the left. <laughs> <laughs> the listener bank. Um, <clears throat> he's in the Jacobson. Uh, currently, the building is empty, not because we ran out of money. It's under renovation. 
uh, it is the listed building, direct the National Bank from Anne Jakob, accessibility fertiggestellt worden, den unter Denkmalschutz heute. Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, here and in the historic building. Uh, the 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 warehouse was built years ago, and when you compare the space uh, to the warehouse, you will see a difference to the, the backside. At that time, it was important that the king was looking at something nice from the castle. So, as you can see here, the backside, there you could save the money. Yeah, also on the other side, there was a lot of money spent, because it was the most important thing that the king had seen. Here is the light green building. On the left used to be the ferry terminal to Sweden and the customs. Uh, when in the year 2000 we got the bridge person born to Sweden, so uh, the building was then used uh, for a restaurant and a jazz club. And the company also has a known business in the company. Yeah, links to the terminal and the social is in the year 2000 by the food that it bought. So also here on the left, in the water, is um, getting... Yoo-hoo! <laughs> I can't work under these conditions. <laughs> yes, uh, you can see the single passing makes it more safe to uh, be in the harbor. If you look here on the right side, this is not very safe because boats are cruising <coughs> all the time, which is actually not allowed. <laughs> so they uh, can make this building a lot of, a lot of this swimming, uh, Yeah, rush hour on the water. You will bring this side, eh? On the left, the um, Royal Theatre Playhouse from 2008 was uh, the building cost of 100 million euro. It has an um, advanced uh, air condition. They use the seawater to cool the building, so it's very environmental friendly. Yeah, of the little side of the Schauspiel House in 2008, also an interesting act of the Meerwasser is to be seen. It was opened with Shakespeare's Hamlet. Um, I mean, the original title of Hamlet is the Prince of Denmark, and the play is in Helsinki, uh, 50 kilometers north of Copenhagen. Yeah, Hamlet is eben, also damit ist das Schauspiel auch geöffnet worden, und der Titel von Hamlet ist ja der Prinz von Dänemark. Also, um, das Spiel in Helsinki, das liegt ja nicht weit weg von Kopenhagen. So, on the right side, the um, uh, new opera from the year 2005. Uh, has been a donation of the container giant uh, Möller Merz. Um, the building cost uh, two and a half billion pounds. The main auditorium has uh, 1700 feet. The building has 14 stories, uh, which five are below the house. Der Recht in Europa von 2005 war ein Geschenk von Eto Möller Merz, also ein Container, die ganze Uh, das Gebäude hat zweieinhalb Jahre schon gekostet. Der große Saal hat 1770. Das Gebäude hat uh, 17 Etagen, wovon 15 Etagen. So hier in der Hall, you can see um, Chandeliers, that were designed by the uh, Danish Icelandic artist Ola Poelier. 
Leute, die Runden, äh, um Leute, die nicht von einem Künstler mit dem Namen Ola Poe hier von Boston kommen. When you make a donation in this size, you also want to have a bit influence for the old man who he also had his own ideas. So there was a bit of discussion with the architect. The architect, for example, he didn't. In the beginning, uh, the roof was not part of his. Hello! What was of his uh, idea, for example? Now on the right um, is the resistance, there is the Amma Wagen, Spoken Hill, uh, a racing generator, a fancy building. It uh, burns more weight than Denmark has of waste, so uh, we import waste to the store. They have an artificial ski slope down the road on the, to the left and a climbing wall and in the middle of the front you can see it. So uh, you can also go on the top and it is a really nice view and especially in the evening and it's free. Yeah, right. Uh, if you go into the Lübecker Bank and the Copenhagen and the Hammer Bank, the brand 600,000 from Müll pro year is more than the Lübecker Bank and you can also build in Bosch. generates electricity and heating for 18,000 households. Yeah, it's with him, uh, strong and high energy to 18,000 households. Yeah, I can say and feel, also, that as well as arms, it's the output from the show. So, now here in the distance, uh, the submarine on the Kai is part of the Navy Museum. It was the last submarine used by the Danish Navy. Denmark has uh, one of the oldest navies in the world. And the submarine is called the Seal. Yeah, this uh, U-boot here in the Hintergrund is uh, like Wolle. And the best U-boot in the Danish Flotte, Denmark has one der the, also with the edges of the der Welt. So it was used in the war here in 2003. And we have seen a real Seal here in the area. On the, at one of the signs, in, it was sunbathing. So there are also seals in the water. Yeah, we have a problem here in Wasser gesehen. I the next, the best ship here on the right, the frigate Peter Stram, uh, it uh, became known in the 80s uh, under an exercise. They were firing a missile in the wrong direction. Yeah, the Regatte hier rechts ist äh, in den 80ern bekannt geworden. Wir haben eine gute Übung, eine äh, Rakete in die falsche Richtung zu bekommen. So, the missile hit a uh, summer cottage area in North Sweden. Luckily, but nobody was at home. But there were four summer cottages totally blown away. And 130 were uh, damaged. So, it was quite an effective missile. Ja, die Rakete ist in ein Sommerhaushüttel eingeschlagen, äh, zum Glück war keiner zu Hause, das war ein Ausländer. Und das sind vier Sommerhäuser, also völlig dem Erdboden gleichgemacht worden. Hier in vorne was ist Valerie äh, Sixtus, äh, Qualification, also at that time bis vor dem Krieg. Hier vor uns ist Valerie Sixtus, nach dem äh, König Christian VI benannt worden. Das war auch in der Hauptsächlich der beste Flotte. So they have the tradition to fire cannon blasts. In the old days it was a sign for the ships in the harbor. Uh, every uh, sunrise and sunset. Ja, früher äh, also Tradition, äh, Signalschüsse abzugeben bei Sonnenaufgang und Sonnenuntergang. So, during the time, it was like negotiated the sunrise. Every day at 8 o'clock. Because you can hear the cannon blast right all over the place. And you know, here is the city called Westerpool, there's a lot of people living and there's this over there. Yeah, and the canon just said that the sun out can get the same on the other side. Yeah, 
the homes here uh, made of containers, this is Green Dormitory. They also have this heating to uh, seawater system and solar panels on the roof. In the distance, the large hall uh, was a shipyard. Uh, around 100 years ago, Denmark was leading in ship manufacturing. In 1912, they built the first diesel engine for ships, also here. And um, it was the biggest employer in Copenhagen. In uh, the 60s, they had 10,000 employees here. And in the Second World War, they were building the engines for the German submarines in this hall. Ja, die, die Halle hier im Hintergrund, wo Westhalle wird vorgestellt, äh, war früher eine Werft. Und das war so ein bisschen die 60er, der größte Arbeitgeber mit 10.000 Angestellten. Wir sind mit äh, 1912 die ersten Schiffe, die sind weltweit hier gebaut worden und im Zweiten Weltkrieg die äh, Motoren für die deutschen U-Boote. So in the distance, the blue and white crane is um, bungee jumping uh, crane. We are going to see the bungee jumper earlier today. Yeah, uh, here is the flower that we can use for bungee jumping. And as we also have the bungee jumping here, we have the bungee jumping here. 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 So the, the, box, the opening rebate was you get the jump for free when you're naked. And there were too many Copenhagen that were willing to do this. And on the second day they canceled the offer. <laughs> not, uh, not The statue is from 1913. Uh, the owner of Karlsberg was attending a ballet play of the Little Mermaid. And he, I mean, he already had the idea to donate the statue to the city. And when he saw the ballet play, he, he was just thinking, okay, the main actress is the perfect model. Um, yeah, also the Eigentümer von Karlsberg, the Bauerei, had in a, in a ballet vorstellung die Hauptstellung gesehen und hat sich gedacht, okay, die ist das perfekte Modell für diese Stadt. So, he also found a um, sculpturist, but in the end, the actress didn't want to be naked, uh, posing naked as a model. And um, so it was the wife of the sculpturist, who was roughly the same age, who was then the model for the body. Ja, also die ähm, Schauspielerin wollte aber nicht nackt vor dem Bildhauer Modell sitzen und am Ende ist die Frau vom Bildhauer eingesprochen als Körpermodell. Ja, so what we see is the uh, face of the actress and the body of the Ja, also das ist eine Statue von den Frauen. Ich glaube aber nicht, dass die Frau vom Bildhauer eine Schwanze hat. Um, on the right side, behind the grass ball, this is the place on the city map, this is the star-shaped area. Um, it is the Fort Castell, it's the oldest uh, military fort in the facility in the world, this is the Yeah, at the back, in the grass ball, Castell is the Festung, die immer noch benutzt wird von Dänisch Militär und somit ist es die älteste so the, yeah, the, the building in the middle there in good condition and the Danish military is happy to use it. Here on the right is the, normally the water plane, the, the domestic flight of Denmark, then uh, Copenhagen, Orton, the second largest city. Is that the price? Yeah, there are normally the water flights, the Wasserflugzeuge, the Verbindung Copenhagen, Aarhus, that is 15 minutes long. Let's 
So in the, in the distance on the right, you see uh, two pavilions with copper roofs. Uh, this is actually the waiting room for the peak for the passengers of the Queen's Yacht. The, the oh, Queen has her own ship, so this is the Danuko, and uh, it is normally it's lying here with the yellow um, swimmer. So, um, the people who want to board the yacht, they yeah. wait in this pavilion, and on the left one there is a crown. This is for the royal people, and the right one is for the uh, Yes. Ja, hier rechts ist das ist die Wartepavillon für die Jagd der Königin, der, also das ist äh, das Ganze. Und äh, links für die Kronen drauf ist, äh, dieser Pavillon ist für die Adligen und die, der rechte für die Nicht-Adligen. Das modern building hier, on the right, uh, with the blue window, is the headquarter of Mer, the largest employer of Denmark, and um, it has in the long time been the largest container shipping line in the world. Now they're number two. And the building is also inspired by containers that are piled up in the house. Container JC. Um, the first one is the Mer. The biggest company in Denmark and the world's biggest container builder. Uh, the Gebäude is also aufeinander gestapelt in containers inspired, as you can see. So they have a logo, the white star uh, with the seven corners to symbolize the day day on the seven seas. Um, the logo is also symbolized by the seven stars. The seven stars. The seven stars. But some employees who say it symbolizes the day they work on the seven days of the week. Ja, also manche Angestellte, denen kommt das mehr so vor, dass der siebentagige Stern eben zeigt, dass sie an sieben Wochentagen arbeiten. Ja, mehr als hat operiert in 120 Ländern und hat global über 100.000 Angestellte. So, hier ist der um, uh, uh, Warehouse von der Colony Times. Der Denmark heißt Colony in the West England and uh, in the African Gold Coast and other places. And uh, because of the warehouse in the middle was the food from Greece. And today they are used for apartments. Yeah, the Bahnhof Lagerhaus is a very good thing. And of course, the colonial side of the building, the Academy of the West Division, the Colonial and the Academy of the West Division, and also the Academy of the West Division, and also the Academy of the West Division. Yeah, today they are used for apartments. And 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 they are used for We are coming closer to the main golf club. Here is the main golf club from this mountain. It was built 1750. Where the queen resides in the mansion to the left, and the crown prince family in the here in the one to the right. Yeah, the queen is in the body here of the link that is the crown prince. The crown prince family is here in the next level. So at every day at 12 o'clock you can see the changing of the guard. The Vapa Bösen can on the entire time of the first one. And then yeah, uh, around the fountain, the uh, sculpture is the greenish color, and you are in by the sea. Yeah, the statue is here for the sculpture uh, here around um, the, the spring room, it's from the Königin uh, gestaltet worden. In the background, it's the Marble Church, Marmor Kitten. was inspired by the St. Peter's Dome in Rome. Yeah, the Marmor Kitten is also good for the Marmor Kitten. It's a good idea with the second choir. It's a good idea with the second choir. It's a good idea with the second choir. Um, 
Kappe an die Tisch leilen, in der Hose ist, selber äh, Touring Paper for the Press Industry. Ja, hier links Papieröl heißt Papierinsel, äh, auf der Küsteninsel war am Anfang für die Flotte und hinterher hat man das als Papierlager benutzt für die Druckindustrie. Ähm, das Building hier auf der Corner, der Red Flag, ist äh, in Wilson der Swimming Hall. Ja, das ist hier auch für die Ecke, wird noch ein Gebäude gebaut werden, was für Schwimmhalle ist. Du kannst sie da auf der Picture machen, um den Office zu kennen. The building here are somehow uh, mixed. Uh, it will be apartments, it will be uh, small business, offices, uh, shops and so on. Ja, die, uh, die uh, Gebäude werden sowohl privat als auch genutzt werden. Ja. Hier auf dem Bild uh, so we're coming closer to Christian Town. Um, the stairs of Christian Town on your phone. Uh, they recently had 400 years anniversary. Uh, the idea of Christian Town was um, the city wanted to uh, have a, a city quarter after the example of Amsterdam. This idea was to attract uh, Dutch merchants to Copenhagen. Yeah, they could have been able to have a Holland Mission Kaufleute in Copenhagen and had even taken the town to the city of Amsterdam. But in the end, when everything was finished, the merchants from Holland didn't show up. So the um, government had to be quite uh, creative and they were motivating people with uh, tax exemptions and so on to settle here. And in the end it was Germans and Dan Danes who were the first inhabitants. Ja, also die äh, holländischen Kaufleute wollten doch nicht hier einziehen und es mussten also mit viel Überzeugungsarbeit, also Steuerfreiheit und so weiter, Leute äh, hierher gelockt werden. Das waren am Ende Deutsche und Dänen hauptsächlich, die die ersten Bewohner von Christian Town waren. So, that is a uh, bridge, mind your head, this is the butterfly bridge, when they open both wings, it looks like a butterfly. Right, right, right. Inside Christian Town, where the people live close to the water, I'm not allowed to use the speaker system. So I will continue guiding when we leave Christian Town again. Yeah, um, ich darf hier, uh, weil ja die Leute hier relativ nah am Wasser wohnen, uh, die Lautsprechanlage nicht zu nutzen. Ich will uh, weitermachen, wenn wir Christian Town wieder verlassen. Yeah, but yeah. 
अब फिर क्या हो रहा है दो सौ रुपये का पचास का तो गिला गया अब डेढ़ सौ का क्या हो रहा Bridge, we can see our Savior's Church. Nach dieser Brücke kann man sehr gut die Erlöserkirche sehen. Der Loser kenne ich, aber hat eine super aus. Bis nach Schweden. The next bridge is quite low. Right your hand. बैठने से अच्छा है यहाँ बैठो Yeah, 
Where's the glory from? घर वालों की तो आई से बाबा ये उम्र में बोट रही तो क्या फायदा है अभी की उम्र में बोट बिजनेस दिख रहा मुझे The service bridge, designed by the Danish Icelandic artist Olafur Eliasson, you know the guy from the opera. Yeah, this is the second photo, eighth photo, the other one. The bridge can be opened by rotating it. They like it just. So now in front of us, the black diamond. Uh, part of the Royal Library. The idea with the front is that it reflects the sunlight on the surface and uh, the building could have like a diamond. So, yeah, that's the word is that we can't even when you've got an open window shape. That's one leaf on the bus over pressure when you get to the border. So, it's uh, the historic part of the library. There's a low bridge coming ahead. Yeah, here is the Brauerei from 1619. At that time it was not common to drink plain water because it was not so clean. Uh, so that we're drinking beer and wine instead. Was, 
and the beer was not so strong, it had only one percent of alcohol. Ja, damals äh, wurde ja nicht so normal Wasser getrunken, weil das nicht äh, sauber war. Und das Bier war auch nicht so stark, es hatte nur 1% Alkohol. So the servants of the Queen received 10 liters of beer per day as a part of the salary. But it was um, for the whole family. Ja, äh, damals haben eben die Angestellten im Königshaus 10 Liter Bier am Tag äh, als Teil ihres Sohnes bekommen, was eben für die ganze Familie gedacht war. So here you have a lighthouse ship that is now used as a houseboat. I think there are five uh, families living in the boat. Yeah, rechts. Huh? That's the forest city. Yeah. And there are two families now. So all this island on the right is called Slotsholm. It has been the political center of Denmark since 1150. Here rechts, uh, the island is Slotsholm ist das politische Zentrum Dänemarks seit 1150. And it has also been the geographic center for a long time because Denmark was uh, much bigger. For example, the south of Sweden and Norway and uh, Iceland uh, were also part of the Danish Kingdom for a long time. Ja, uh, also, uh, das ist auch das geografische Zentrum gewesen, weil äh, früher gehörten ja also Süden von Schweden, Norwegen, Island gehört ja zum dänischen Königreich äh, über Jahrhunderte. So this is the uh, horse stable of the, uh, the court. Uh, they had 250 uh, horses in the old days here. And today it's 20. Ja, äh, früher sind hier 250 Pferde im Pferdestall gewesen, heute sind es noch 20. This bridge is called the Marble Bridge. It is not made of marble, but it should look like it is. The book is here. It has marble broken. It's not made of marble. It's not made of marble. So it is all the So in front of us is a um, bridge that is called the Stone Bridge. It's a bit narrow, so um, keep your hands inside the boat. Ja, die nächste Brücke, die Stormbro, Sturmbrücke, die ist ein bisschen schmal. Also äh, darauf achten, die Hände im Boot zu behalten. In 1695, the Swedish army succeeded to invade Copenhagen. And that's what the bridge reminds us. 1695 wurde Kopenhagen von den Schweden eingenommen. Und daran erinnert diese Brücke. Look, but don't touch. So we are 170 on the boat. <laughs> oh, I can't be more. Okay, do that. Carry on. On the right, the yellow building is the Museum of Bad Toys. He was the most uh, famous uh, sculpturist of them. He was born in 1770 and uh, already with 11 years he was uh, on the sculptural school. 
He mainly lived and worked in Rome and uh, created a number of uh, sculptures that are still uh, standing in different European cities today. So when he uh, retired and came back to Copenhagen, he was uh, celebrated like a national hero and he become, became honored citizen of Copenhagen. And he's also buried in the in the backyard of Copenhagen. Yeah, on the left side is the gate. Um, the boat and travel is this one. Uh, the one that's in the middle is the 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 Bildhauer. Er wurde schon mit elf Jahren in der Schule für die Bildhauer aufgenommen. Er hat ähm, hauptsächlich in Rom gelebt und gearbeitet. Ja, aber ich kann nicht sagen, dass Italien Werke stehen heute noch in äh, verschiedenen europäischen Bildern. Ja, Als er wieder in den Ruhestand gegangen ist, ist er nach Kopenhagen gekommen. Es ist er Ehrenbürger von Kopenhagen geworden. Und er ist auch in dem Gebäude begraben. So, ähm, the uh, Christian Fort, the castle here where the parliament is, is actually in the fifth castle that is built on this island throughout the time. So five castles were built on top of each other, so to say. Yeah, this Christian Town's uh, Christian Fort, meine ich, is the das fünfte Schloss, was hier im Laufe der Jahrhunderte errichtet wurde. In front of us, the, on the left side, this is called Gammelstrand. That means uh, old beach. It also has been a beach earlier. Uh, when they were building the metro, they were finding um, artifacts from back to Stone Age. So there has been settlement uh, yeah, in ages. Um, yeah, here links, Gammelstrand, heißt der alter Strand. Das war auch mal ein Strand. Hier sind uh, Reste gefunden worden von Siedlung bis zur Steinzeit. Um, so in the old days, uh, the fishermen were unloading their catch here, and it was also uh, sold here on the place. Yeah, the uh, fisher have their boat here abgeladen, and uh, the fish market is quite here hinten hinter der Mauer gewesen. So you can um, see a statue at the end of the stairs there on the left. It's um, it's from the 30s, and it reminds of the women who were selling fish at this place. Ja, hier links ist ähm, ja, die Statue, der, 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 äh, ja. auf der Seite der Treppen ist aus den 30ern und äh, erinnert an die Frauen, die hier Fisch verkauft haben. So, this is the last bridge on our tour now. Ja, yeah, thank you for being our guest today. Danke, dass Sie heute dabei waren. Yeah, somebody is swimming at the kayak. <laughs> Dangerous eagles. Yeah, we need to have a look. Yeah, you will get a 20% reward on your next purchase um, when you show the receipt. Yeah, you get 20% of the next purchase when you have a customer card. 20% of all the other food. So. Yeah, please remain seated until the boat is moored. Bitte sitzen bleiben, bis das Boot verfolgt ist. Vielen Dank.